spirituality. That word conjures up a lot of different emotions for people. Some good, a lot bad. But the fact of the matter is, regardless of where you kind of land on that continuum of spirituality, whether you're highly religious um, and you affiliate with a particular denomination within Protestantism, um, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, um, or you're on the other spectrum, you're agnostic, perhaps you're atheistic, at the end of it, you still believe in something, whether that is a God uh, in a specific kind of relationship or you believe in the God of nothing um, or you believe in yourself or you believe that there is a higher power but you don't necessarily attribute it to any one particular thing um, or you're highly spiritual in that you're um, Buddhist or Hindu. Regardless of where you land on that continuum, that is a major major, major, major part of who we are as human beings. Um, there is very much a spiritual component to who we are, again, regardless of where you fall in that continuum. And so my kind of understanding when I'm looking at someone, when I think of the word health and I'm approaching every single client that I've worked with, um, that's always been a part of the discussion. Regardless of where, whether you want to bring in spiritual resources into the counseling room or into the counseling session, um, it's totally dependent upon you. But just for you to know that that is a very, very real aspect of who we are and it influences us. And so if there is spiritual abuse in your past, then that definitely is going to be affecting the ways in which um, you interact with others who are spiritual or even within yourself. Um, and that's going to play itself out in a lot of different ways, whether that's behavior, whether that's negative thought patterns, whether, you know, different addictions, all of those types of things. Spirituality is very much a facet of who we are and a facet of health, um, you know. And so a well-integrated, healthy individual is able to integrate spirituality into their life. Not that they solve all of the world's issues or that they have a perfect um, concept um, of what religion or what spirituality is, but the ways in which it influences their life and it has a... Um, kind of a flow in just to their daily rhythm. You know, if I have an aspect of who I am and I'm totally suppressing it or rejecting it, that's going to come out in the way that I talk with people, in the way that I interact with others, the way that um, my behavior is, maybe the different patterns that I engage in over the course of my life. Um, all of that um, totally plays into it. Um, and so just wanted to, to bring that uh, onto the, or into your radar, um, that maybe when you think about health, you haven't thought necessarily about spirituality and it being an integral part of your health holistically. Of course we think about um, nutrition, right? Fitness or movement. Um, sleep, we could probably get there too, okay. Um, and obviously mental health, um, but very few consider spirituality an aspect of our health, but it is because it is one of the many pieces that make up who we are. Um, and if we believe that we are spiritual beings, which I do, um, then it totally affects um, the ways in which that I'm going to interact with you, um, the ways in which I'm going to interact with my partner or my spouse or my friends or my family. It matters. And so I want to invite that into um, just the relationship you know, whenever I'm working with someone. And if they want to table that, eventually we'll get to it, cool. And if they don't want to table it, fine. But even for the clients who say that they, you know, don't want it to be a part of their sessions, they don't have anything to do with that, cool. Somehow it always comes up, even if it's just in the most of existential kind of way. It comes up. Um, and so just take that into consideration. You know, what does that look like in your own life? How um, integrated are you in with your spirituality? Do you allow it into your life? Do you allow it to influence your different thoughts or your behaviors or patterns that you engage in? Um, or do you totally reject it? And you live kind of like this angry kind of sense against it or towards it because of how religion or spirituality was shoved down your throat as a kid or the ways in which that you saw it being acted out from your mom or your dad or maybe some other authority figures in your life. Um, I don't know. That'd be an interesting thing 
just to take stock of as you kind of think about your life and the ways in which that you've allowed it or not allowed it, um, you know, into your life. And so consider that. Um, and I'm excited um, to keep answering questions and to keep talking about things that are relevant to society and kind of just life's biggest questions. And so, you know, click um, on my hair because I have a lot of it, uh, especially being down here in Florida, uh, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, just to get updated on when we release new videos, when we release different contents and different interviews that I'm going to be doing with different experts in the field. Um, you're going to want to stay on top of this um, and to check back in with us regularly. Um, again, don't forget to post any questions, interact. I answer all emails, and so shoot me an email, ask me any questions if you have any, um, and we'll talk to you later.